Hello, hello again to another Agricola Reacts, and uh, today we are joined by with by with joined by Eric. Hello, my husband. Welcome he back. He joins me every Friday. Good well, to see. He you. joins me every few weeks, and then we record few, and then you see it, him every Friday. Something to look forward to after work. Yeah. <laughs> it's Friday. Get to watch Eric. Anyway, today we're watching myth busting opossum facts from backyard nature by Nature on PBS. Oh my gosh, possums are I don't know. Huge. I don't think I ever see They them. are huge. Are they? Yeah, so like... That's not huge. That, you know, when you're used to looking at rats and you see this big ass, big thing just going through the bushes, okay. staring at you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't think we have opossums in Europe. And definitely not in Poland or not in Europe, in Ireland. How you too? Are you yawning on my video? I, I'm sorry, yes. Yeah, um, I'm always tired, folks. I apologize. So, uh, we're, I'm definitely going to learn a lot because I don't know much about the animals. So, let's just get into it. Yeah. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's start then. Kind of cute. Look at this. It's from the Hi, baby, my huh? name is Alex Getz, and I'm a wildlife filmmaker and photographer. When I'm not on location, I live here in Northwest Ohio. I'm fortunate to be just a short drive away from a globally rare ecosystem called the Oak Openings Region. The Oak Openings Region is an amazing place that not only has these massive oak trees and oak savannas, beautiful wildflower prairies, but swamps too. The Oak Openings Region is home to many unique species of plants and animals. I reckon that. Today, we're looking mm -hmm. for one particularly misunderstood Otherwise known as a trash and panda. a personal favorite of mine <laughs> that can be found wandering throughout this region as well as backyards and suburbs and cities. Today, we're looking for the opossum. Opossums have a bit of a bad reputation. Fueled by some common misconceptions out there, I want to explore some of these myths and misconceptions with you and figure out what is fact or fiction. First, let's clear probably the biggest misconception out there before we dive too deep into that is others. Cute one. Is it opossum? or possum. While those are both animals with pouches, they're actually two different animals. Opossums are the fuzzy white animal that roams around here in North America. But possums, without the O, are actually an Australian species, more closely related to the kangaroo. Hmm. Opossums should be a welcome neighbor to your backyards. While a lot of people view this animal as a nuisance, they actually provide some really important ecological benefits to humans. Opossums are omnivores, meaning they will eat anything from plants, fruits, and nuts, to bugs, small mammals, and even roadkill. As scavengers, they clean up the environment around them of deceased animals. One of the best things about them, though, they eat ticks. A lot of them, too. It's mm. estimated they will eat around 5,000 a year, which helps cut back on Lyme disease in the environment. A lot of people think that opossums are disease-ridden or have rabies, it is actually really rare for an opossum to get rabies because opossums have a lower body temperature than other mammals here in North America. Their bodies just aren't suitable habitats for diseases like rabies. Some people might not think they're the cutest animal roaming through your yards and neighborhoods. Excuse me. I promise Excuse me. you, they play Excuse a very important role in the ecosystem. Excuse me. Opossums tend to be shy and want nothing to do with people. So it's easy for people to claim they're mean, rabid, or a nuisance when they run into one around their home. But I hope that dispelling some of these myths and misconceptions of opossums has helped you understand and appreciate your wild neighbors more. I think you can climb, huh? Yeah. Huh, interesting. It's cute. It is cute. Jeez. It's very cute. That's one thing It's very cute. I thought there's giant rats that play dead. I didn't know they had a purpose. A good purpose for me. Oh, that's the two from Ice Age, huh? There were two of them there. And one of the mums were raised with them and she was thinking that she's an opossum too, like a giant opossum. Huh. I don't think you've seen that. No. Too, uh, no, yeah. no. That and Shrek. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not really my thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Japanese animation. That would be neat, folks. <laughs> Did you learn something new about like, like I said, the We just call opossums, though. We don't say opossum, we just say possum. Well, so you're mistaken then. Yeah, that's just what we do. We say things that that are wrong. <laughs> you know, it's the way people do in the United States. 
Mm. Like, okay. you know. Well, at least you know that there are two different types of things. Yeah. Because I didn't realize there were two you know. different things. Why? Zebra. I don't know. What? Zebra. 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 Yeah, but that is one same animal. This is opossum and possum. Yeah. Two different animals. Mm. Ah, two different continents too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have something else to say? No. Have any well, questions? Uh, no. Oh. That was actually a short video. No, that was I stayed awake for the whole thing. <laughs> you still have 16 seconds left of the credits. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let's Eric sleep. <laughs> and I see you tomorrow. And you'll see Eric in the next week on Friday. Bye. See ya.